As our expected temperatures continue to increase, so does the urgency to return power to everyone across the area as EMSA extends the heat alert until Monday. Meanwhile, PSO reporting just over 34,000 or still don't have any power as the 3,500 utility workers keep making repairs and the controversy surrounding the governor continues. I asked Tulsa Mayor G.T. Bynum about Governor Stitt's claim that the two had been in contact while the governor was in Paris. I can tell you that the first conversation I had with Governor Stitt about this disaster is when he stepped off the elevator on this floor to visit our emergency operations center today. Now, I know that the governor's chief of staff has been communicating with my staff. Uh, he mentioned, I watched the interview he did, he mentioned uh, uh, a text chain that we were on, but he never replied to any of the texts in that. That was part of the, my frustration. I was trying to reach him any way I could and couldn't get through. Um, a lot has been made of this, and, and I understand the interest in it. The important thing to me, though, is that we are getting what we need from the state. Tulsa Police Chief Wendell Franklin also announcing this afternoon that his department is having some issues with staffing, especially with the weekend events. In addition to this emergency, saying that TPD can't staff tomorrow's Pride Parade, explaining he's already spent about $70,000 in overtime for his officers just in the first few days of the disaster recovery.